Listen on Demand, brought to you by 680 News. Terry, first, my friend, um, wow, congrats on the uh, success that you seem to be having, man. Did you ever think that this appearance on Canada's Got Talent would make you literally the talk across the nation? It's just been a crazy ride overall and experience, and it's just really an amazing thing to see this all kind of manifest before my eyes, and I, I really don't know what to make of it right now still. It's, it's kind of still really surreal. I, when did you start doing this this beatbox thing, man? Because it's absolutely amazing in what you've been able to do. Oh, thank you. Well, I've been doing it for about 12 years, actually, um, which is when I recalled making my first beatbox sound, if you will. Um, I've been doing it professionally for about the past three years and just competing internationally, doing performances, uh, different types of gigs, and et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, I've just been working really hard, so I'm I'm kind of glad that beatboxing, the art form, is actually starting to get the exposure that I think it deserves. Do, who inspired you from this? I mean, did you see somebody doing it and you were just like, I got to try this? Oh, definitely. Um, there's tons of inspirations and uh, pioneers I look up to. Um, the first person I heard beatboxing was a guy named Rosdell, and he's the kind of he's the guy who kind of brought beatboxing into the limelight uh, with singing and beatboxing. Um, you might have heard his uh, his rendition of Aaliyah's uh, "Rest in Peace." Uh, if your mother only knew, it goes like this: It goes a little something like that. But uh, I heard that uh, when I was about like ten years old, and I was like, "Man, that was crazy!" He was doing this all with his and ever since then, I've just been really into music, you know, playing the drums, piano, flute, et cetera, et cetera. And after I kind of stopped playing all my instruments, I just started making noise with my mouth. And that kind of brought me into the beatboxing culture a little more. So I started looking it up online and stuff. And fair enough, there's actually a plethora of uh, material online to learn um, and different people who are doing all types of things around the world. And a beatboxer named Faith That's Effect, who I came across, um, was one of my main inspirations. And, uh, yeah, he's kind of the guy I really looked up to, um, to developing my style. And over the past, I'd say, maybe five or six years, I've kind of derived my own style and kind of created my own unique little uh, little niche of beatboxing, if you will. How did like, how difficult is it to do something like that? Because the way you do it, I mean, you swear that it's like, Two different things are going on. You've got your singing voice going one way and the beats going another way, and they sound like they're in unison together. Right. It's actually uh, not as complicated as you would think. Um, it's more about uh, muscle memory and kind of uh, memorizing the positions that your mouth needs to be in to make certain sounds and kind of putting that all together in sequences uh, and not necessarily at the same time. So it's more of like an audio illusion when you're doing singing with beatboxing together. It's not actually simultaneous. Um, I would say that uh, beatboxing is more difficult when it comes to technicality and complexity and different types of rhythms and grooves. Um, like, you know, there's new types of music coming out these days, like dubstep and like different types of uh, variations of drum and bass and different, all these, you know, not necessarily new types of music, but kind of new to the, the mainstream. And, uh, it's just really great, you know. It's um, I don't know how to explain it. It's just something that I do with my mouth. It's I don't know. It's really hard to explain. It's just something I love and that I do. And you know, if you love something, then you know you'll excel at it. Well, like I said, man, it seems like everybody's loving what you're doing because I mean, the show only premiered as we speak last night, and people already got you in the finals. I mean, uh, <laughs> Stefan Macchio said, you know, see you in the finals. That must have been thrilling for you when that actually happened. Oh, it was crazy. Like, my heart was racing when he said that. I was like, wow, you know, because I really respect Macchio because, you know, he's an established composer, producer, and a pianist, and just, you know, a great musician. I've listened to some of his work, and, you know, he's worked with some of the greatest artists in the world. And, you know, to get that kind of recognition from someone like him is just amazing. Well, how do you feel your chances are, man? Because, I mean, we still got a long way to go, but that's right. what do you think your chances are? Well, um, I think I have a good chance because, um, you know, if I do make it to the next round, you know, God willing, um, I do have a different type of show that I'll be bringing to the to the stage. Um, and, yeah, you know, I just, I just hope I can make it to the next round. You know, it'll be a dream come true. I've been doing this for a long time. And, yeah, you know, I just, you know, I, I love all the support and uh, 
all the recognition I'm receiving thus far, you know, but I really want to take it to that next level. And win or lose, man, what are you hoping afterwards it's going to happen? Do you hope this is going to be your career? Like, what do you do now, man, as a job? Well, I actually do uh, do beatboxing full time at the moment, uh, doing various performances. And uh, I actually did like a couple commercials um, this year and last year. Um, and yeah, it's just been taking up all my time, you know, practicing, you know, getting ready for these shows, uh, these competitions, and just kind of managing myself as an artist, you know, getting myself out there, you know, with the social media whole thing. So all I really have time for is beatboxing. <laughs> Well, it looks like you're going to have a lot of time, my friend, in this competition. So, hey, look, like I said, man, congratulations and all this. And, uh, wow. Um, just curious, website, Twitter, do you have that? Yeah, for sure, definitely. You can uh, catch me at Twitter, which is at KRNFX, which is my beatbox name, uh, facebook.com slash KRNFX. And you can also check me out on YouTube at www.youtube.com slash KRNFXTV. You know, I feel like an idiot. And what do you go by again? What's the, what's the name do you go by as the beatbox? KRNFX. That's what, you, that's, how, that's what it's pronounced? That's how it's pronounced. Really? And what does it all stand for? Um, it actually stands for Korean FX because my parents are of Korean descent. Um, and it's actually a name I used to use while I played computer games back when I was a kid. And... I kind of, it kind of stuck with me, so I don't really think I could change it now, considering I've already established myself somewhat. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of stuck with it. But, hey, <laughs> you know, I, I have pride in my heritage, so I don't have a problem with that. So, yeah. Yeah, well, you may have to spell it soon as W-I-N-N-E-R, because it seems like that's exactly <laughs> where you're going, my friend. Congratulations with what's going on with you, man, and good luck in the competition. Thank you so much, Rudy. I really appreciate it. Take care, my friend. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.